Hi, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing the June card kit by Simon Says Stamp. There is also a giveaway running on my blog, so if you want a chance to win this card kit, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. First of all, let's take a quick look at what's inside the kit. So the kit comes with an adorable stamp set. This is uh, called Happy and Smile. And it also comes with this uh, washi tape and I love it because it's uh, so colorful. There is also a thin die, a cut out a circle with uh, the word smile inside. And I really love those stickers. These are epoxy stickers. They are nice and puffy and uh, really shiny. I am going to use them actually in the card that I will be making uh, today. The kit also comes with double-sided pattern paper and these are by Doodlebug and uh, I believe the collection is called Sunkist and they are uh, of the same collection with the epoxy stickers. I really love uh, the vibrant colors. And finally there is some cardstock that uh, you can use to make uh, your card pages. They are all in uh, colors that uh, perfectly coordinate the pattern papers. So for today I will be making a card using only supplies from the kit, so I am uh, going to use the die that was included uh, to, to die cut uh, four different circles. Now I have already cut down this uh, white cardstock which is also from the kit and with my pencil and my ruler I am going to divide my paper into four different uh, squares. Having marked those squares, I can easily place uh, the die inside the square and uh, so I can have uh, easily die cut uh, so those circles and have them uh, nicely aligned. So I will be using my die cutting machine and I am going to do the same thing four times. To make sure that uh, my die isn't moving, I am uh, using a piece of uh, post-it tape just to keep everything in place. And as you can see, although this uh, die cuts out the word smile, I am not going to use it at uh, this project. However, I am going to keep them all so I can use them in another project. So finally, I will end up with this uh, piece of paper that has uh, four different circles, all nicely aligned. I am using my eraser to remove all those pencil lines so that I have a nice and clear uh, frame. I am going to create a shaker card but before I go ahead and uh, make uh, this uh, too bulky, uh, first I am going to stamp my sentiment. So I am go going with uh, the word smile and I am using uh, sunshine ink pad by Simon Says Stamp. When I use a new stamp, I always like to stamp first on a piece of scrap paper just to make sure that everything is working nicely. And uh, I'm also going to go with uh, the sentiment that says uh, you make me, which I have uh, stamped using Audrey Blue by Simon Says Stamp. Now that my sentiment is in place, I can uh, turn this uh, around and I am going to create my shaker card. Now, first of all, I'm using some tape adhesive at the back and I am going to stick a piece of uh, acetate to create my windows. For each one of those windows, I am going to add uh, foam tape all around to create four different areas for my shaker card. This way, the sequence will not move from one uh, area to the other. I am adding two layers of foam tape just to make sure that all my sequins do have enough space to move around. And while I'm doing that, just to let you know that as always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using just below the video, whether you are watching on YouTube or on my blog. Also, I am going to link to the supplies separately, so in case that uh, you don't want to get uh, the whole card kit, you can uh, get the supplies individually. And uh, now I am going to create uh, each area differently. So for the first uh, one, I am going to use this uh, piece of pattern paper with the sun and the clouds. Now that I have my backing paper in size, I am going to peel off the adhesive from the back and I am uh, going to stick it uh, there. As you can see, I have already added some sequins inside. So the first area for my shaker card is ready. Now at the top I am going to use one of those epoxy stickers and I have the exact same sun which I am going to stick just on top. This is going to add a bit of uh, dimension and uh, shine on my card. Now for the second area I am going to use green paper for the back. So again I am cutting a piece of uh, paper to stick it there but first I am going to insert some sequins in uh, that uh, area. Now I am going to peel off the back. 
and stick my paper at the back. So this is a mega shaker card since it uh, actually has uh, four different areas that uh, shake uh, separately. At the top I am going to stick this glass of uh, lemonade. And I am going to do the same thing the, uh, again and again. So each time I am going to add a sequence inside that area, uh, cover it up with uh, a different color of pattern paper. And at the front I am going to add stickers. I really loved how this uh, card turned out and I think it's uh, such a special card which uh, I am going to give to a very special friend. So for uh, the third uh, area I am sticking the flip-flops. And lastly I am going to move ahead and do the same thing for the fourth, uh, fourth area. And uh, I am going to back it up with um, pink pattern paper. And at the front I am going to stick the camera. Now that my shaker element is ready, I am going to create my card base. So I'm using cardstock from the kit, which I have uh, cut down to half. And I am actually creating a top folding card that's a four and a quarter by five and a half. I am adding adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it centered on my card base. Finally, to finish off my card, I'm using some uh, Wick of Sella clear glitter pen all over the word smile. And although you can't uh, really see the shine now, trust me, it's there and it's uh, really pretty. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching. And here are three more cards for more inspiration. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, so you won't miss another video.